Hello and Toss welcomes you in the video where we will discuss about the top 10 cybersecurity best practices for IT managers in 2023. In today's world, cybersecurity is more important than ever. As an IT manager, you play a critical role in protecting your organization from cyber attacks. The first best practice is to conduct regular security assessments. This involves testing your organization's security measures to identify vulnerabilities and weaknesses. Types of security assessments include penetration testing, vulnerability scanning, and social engineering testing. Tips for conducting effective security assessments include selecting the right assessment type, using qualified testers, and prioritizing vulnerabilities based on risk. The second best practice is to implement access control measures. This involves limiting access to sensitive data and systems to authorized individuals. Types of access control measures include password policies, two-factor authentication, and role-based access control. Tips for implementing effective access control measures include using strong passwords, limiting privileged access, and monitoring access logs. Moreover, the third best practice is to use encryption. This involves protecting sensitive data by converting it into a coded language that can only be deciphered by authorized parties. Types of encryption include symmetric and asymmetric encryption. Tips for using encryption effectively include selecting the right encryption type, implementing encryption at all levels of data storage and transmission, and using strong encryption keys. In addition, the fourth best practice is to maintain regular software updates. This involves keeping software up to date with the latest security patches and bug fixes. Risks of not updating software include vulnerabilities that can be exploited by cyber criminals. Tips for maintaining regular software updates include creating an update schedule, testing updates before deployment, and using automatic update tools. Furthermore, the fifth best practice is to secure mobile devices. This involves protecting mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets from cyber threats. Types of mobile device security measures include mobile device management, remote wipe, and encryption. Tips for securing mobile devices effectively include enforcing security policies, using device-specific security features, and monitoring device activity. Additionally, the sixth best practice is to educate employees on cybersecurity. This involves providing training and awareness campaigns to employees to help them understand the importance of cybersecurity and how to protect sensitive data. Types of employee education include classroom training, online training, and simulated phishing exercises. Tips for educating employees effectively include tailoring training to different job roles, making training engaging and interactive, and providing ongoing education. Moreover, the seventh best practice is to implement disaster recovery and business continuity plans. This involves creating a plan for recovering from a cyber attack or other disaster that could disrupt business operations. Types of plans include backup and recovery plans, hot and cold site plans, and emergency response plans. Tips for implementing effective plans include testing plans regularly, involving all stakeholders in the planning process, and creating a communication plan. Next is, the eighth best practice is to monitor network activity. This involves using tools such as firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and security information and event management systems to monitor network traffic for signs of suspicious activity. Tips for monitoring network activity effectively include setting up alerts for suspicious activity, monitoring logs in real-time, and using machine learning and artificial intelligence to detect anomalies. The ninth best practice is incident response plans are essential for responding to cyber attacks and minimizing the damage they cause. There are different types of incident response plans, such as prevention, detection, and response plans. Prevention plans focus on identifying and mitigating potential risks, while detection plans involve monitoring systems for signs of a cyber attack. Response plans outline the steps that should be taken when an attack is detected. Tips for implementing effective incident response plans include establishing a response team with clear roles and responsibilities, documenting procedures for responding to specific types of attacks, and regularly testing plans to ensure they are effective. Now let's move to the last but not least the 10th best practice regularly backing up data is essential for recovering from data loss due to cyber attacks or other disasters. There are different types of backup solutions available, such as cloud backups, on-site backups, and hybrid backups. 
The right backup solution for your organization will depend on various factors such as the size of your organization, the amount of data you have, and your budget. Tips for backing up data effectively include testing backups regularly to ensure they are working correctly, storing backups securely to prevent unauthorized access, and regularly reviewing backup policies to ensure they are up-to-date and effective. So, now we know, cybersecurity is a critical issue that IT managers must prioritize in 2023. By implementing the top 10 cybersecurity best practices discussed in this presentation, IT managers can help protect their organizations from cyber attacks and minimize the damage they cause. That being said, by following these best practices, IT managers can significantly reduce their organization's risk of a cyber attack and protect sensitive data from being compromised. It's also important to note that cybersecurity is not just the responsibility of IT managers, but of everyone within an organization. By educating employees on cybersecurity and creating a culture of security awareness, we can work together to protect our organizations and our customers from cyber threats. Remember, cybersecurity is not a one-person job, but a team effort. We hope you found the information valuable and insightful. If you have any further questions or would like to learn more, please feel free to reach out to us at techomsystems.com.au or email us hello at techomsystems.com.au or just give us a call on 0390056868. We would be happy to hear from you and discuss further. Remember that we are just one click away from you. Once again, thank you. We appreciate your time and attention. Have a great day.